So here I am hanging out when I get a notification from the Stupendium for a new song that just released. It's called A Little Theorizing and it's an official game theory song made in collaboration with team theorists and Stupendium. I mean, just look at this thing. Wait, isn't it the GTARG Twitter? You know, the ARG made by game theorists, which by the way, I competed in. Got a signed medal by MatPat himself for getting in 30th place. Sorry. Don't, don't get a lot of opportunity to shut that off. And the Stupendium has a pinned comment that says, do you have a keen eye for a bargain with ARG and cap? This is an ARG. Also, spoiler warning for the Stupendium ARG. I won't be showing full solutions here, but I will be giving some major hints. So if you want to try it and solve it yourself, go check out the Stupendium and their song, A Little Theorizing, which I've linked in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when trying to solve an ARG like this is find the community where people are actually solving this. Solving ARG on your own is very difficult, so best to work with a team. That's where my girlfriend, Rose Luminescent, told me that the Stupendium Discord server just made a channel for the ARG. Oh, also in hindsight, I didn't realize that the invite link to the Discord was in the description of the video, and I was in a hurry, so I asked my girlfriend if I can use her account, and she said yes. So if you're wondering why my account name is Rose Luminescent in some of these screenshots, that's why. At this point, only a few things have been found. Some reverse audio was found saying that this sound was actually Morse code. After messing with the Morse code a bit, people found that it said, put the fragments back together. Now, if you've watched Stupendium, that might sound familiar. This line is a reference to two music videos, where in the comment section of them, a code was pinned. And if you put the two fragments back together, you get a new code. And that code also looks pretty similar to a YouTube video URL. So if you plug that into YouTube, you'll find this unlisted video. This video appears to be the same music video, but with the title upside down and reversed, and the video is flipped and negative, or inverted. And in the description, you find the following things. A Google Drive link, which we'll get back to in a minute, this bunch of text, and a little poem here that says, the emperor must solve for Z. So messy words are orderly. And then we get this formula, and a bunch of variables underneath it. This is the right line to join the Discord. They had just discovered this video and were trying to decipher the code. Now I'm sure you can figure out what we have to do next. Solve for Z by getting the values of all the variables. And I'm guessing that Z is probably gonna help us solve this chunk of text here, since the poem says that it'll help us with making messy words orderly. Now you might be wondering, how do we solve the variables? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you watched Stupendium before, you might actually recognize some of these. Like an awful lot of paperwork line is the opening line to rest employed. 151,600 people die every day on Earth, and if that's not a reason to cry, well, it's an awful lot of paperwork. So we can assume that A is 151,600. And then we repeat it for the rest, finding the song that goes to the reference, and the number that goes to the song. Doing all that, we get a number for each letter, which we use in the formula to help us solve for the value of Z. And now that we know the value of Z, we can take this little blurb up here and see if we can't make messy words orderly. Okay, so now that we have the text to be decoded and the value of Z, we can try and use a bunch of different ciphers to try and solve for this. Okay, there's a few options here for decoding this, like a Caesar cipher, where you shift the letters by some amount. Like a Caesar cipher of one becomes A, B, B, C, so on and so forth. Now, I wouldn't bet that this would... Oh no, that worked. So solving that gives us a poem. The human ear, so ill-refined, may fail to hear the change designed, but forms aligned and recombined may yet reveal where ears are blind. Wait, I think I might know what this means. So if you zoom into an audio file, you'll notice that it's stored as hills and valleys. So if you had a message in stereo, where the left channel and the right channel were in verses of each other, where one's hills, where another's valleys, and you mix it down to a mono channel, then you would notice that the message would be impossible to hear, as the two waveforms cancel each other out. The Grills actually use this trick in their song, Clint Eastwood, where a message is only being able to be heard in a stereo system, but if you switch to a mono system, it cannot be heard at all, and it still tricks people to this day. Now, the moment I read the poem, I instantly knew what I had to do. I downloaded both of the videos, and I combined them together to cancel out the two waveforms. And what I found is that one video was an inverse to the other, meaning that they had completely canceled each other out except for a secret message that was left behind. Now, it's not perfect due to video compression, but you can definitely tell there's something hidden in there. I was the first person to find this, and I immediately posted it to the Discord the moment I did. 
So let's leave that there for now and let's get back to the Google Drive link. Opening up, you'll find a lot of files. All of these are zip files that contain an image that says maybe, but we can't open it since they're all password protected. With all these files, we have no idea which one is the correct one. So after downloading all of them and comparing the file sizes, someone found that only one file had a unique file size. The problem is, we still need a password. Now I'm thinking it's inside that audio file, so I'm listening to it over and over again, trying to figure it out. I keep hearing one thing and then another, and I'm just not quite sure what it's saying. The one person in the Discord mentions that it kind of sounds like, well, I'm not gonna spoil it here. So I try the password and it works. I'm greeted with this photo, and at this point, I think I'm the first person to see this. I immediately take a screenshot of it, and I post it to the Discord saying, like, guys, the password is, well, yeah, no spoilers. So I went back to the photo. Now, this is not my first rodeo, so I had a pretty good idea of what I had to do next. Now, I'm not gonna say how, but I was able to get a Google Drive link out of the photo. And once I clicked on the Google Drive link, there was a photo there that said, congratulations on solving the ARJ, which I totally didn't then post instantly to the Discord not thinking that it might have discount codes that probably shouldn't be spread around. I'm so sorry, Stupendium, please forgive me. Oh, and before people ask, I did check the Game Theorist Discord and saw that no one had solved the ARG before I had, meaning I'm pretty sure that I'm the first person to solve the Stupendium ARG. Hi, oh, hello, hi. Um, I wanna accept this award. Um, from the uh, stupendium, uh, I want to thank my girlfriend uh, for uh, helping me with the, the Discord invite. Uh, ha had she not given me her login, uh, maybe I would have figured it out, but you know, we truly don't know. I also want to thank the community for this collaborative effort, especially AJ for creating the document that helped with detailing all of this. Truly, thank you so much to the community. Had it not been for them, I would not be up here today. They really helped a lot with solving multiple of the problems that are very tricky. I also want to give a special shout out to Ty, one of the video editors over on Team Theorist who helped create the video for Stupendium. They did an incredible work and they also said congratulations when they won, so that made me feel special. And of course, the massive shout out to both Stupendium and Team Theorist for putting this together. This was an amazing experience, it was a ton of fun, and I loved every moment of it. Even though I might have spoiled a little bit of it at the end. All right, goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for this award. And remember, you better get the spending up to a million subs or else. Okay, bye.